Hey guys, Darren, Integrated Boat Works here in Glenpool, Oklahoma. Just rolled in Jason Christie's brand new FXR20 Skeeter. We are rigging two power pole eight foot blades as well as power pole charge paired up to two lithiums. We're doing an M32265, 36 volt for the trolling side, an M32215 starting battery for the starting and electronics. We'll jump over into, we're running precision sonar, triple bow mount, dual console mount. At the console, we're gonna run two 12 inch eco maps. At the front, we're gonna run one 12 inch and two 10 inch. We're actually going to run two LVS 34s this year. One's going to be on the trolling motor. The other one is going to be on the right height turret. Uh, basically, transducer shield and saver for the GT36 on the back. We'll have a GT8 in hull for the through hull. Everything's going to be NEMA based. Two GPS antennas. We'll actually put the Yamaha controls on to check fuel mileage and the NEMA stuff on that as well. So excited to rig it. Can't wait to see Jason in the new Skeeter. Thanks. From boxes uh, to rigging. You know, we're in the last few hours. These guys have been working on the boat for a couple of days now. But we're literally in the last few hours. They're gonna wrap some stuff up. Then I'm actually gonna pull it uh, to the house and start loading it with tackle. You know, there's a lot of things that have to go on in the rigging process. For one, I am the most per picky person out there. I want everything exactly like I want it, and that's why uh, I have these guys do it. Um, you know, there's just little things that all make a difference, from the transducer shield, you know, I got the, uh, the stops here in my hand, power poles, all of that has to go. The guts of the rigging is really the electronics, you know, like Darren running eight gauge from the back to the front so I don't lose power throughout the day. Um, just all the little things. Stuff like this right here. I got my boat cover on at night when I get in from practicing at dark. I don't want to take my boat cover off to plug my battery up. You know, hanging the extension cord out the back so I can just plug it in, go in and get some rest, come back out. You know, moving forward, got the batteries there, all tying in. That's what they're doing now is powering everything up, make sure everything's good. The reason that I like being here, and I've done this enough, is, is to be familiar with what they're doing. That way, if for some reason I'm on the water and I have an issue, then I know what to look for. And that's one thing that he does. Um, you know, this is the third year, I think, that he's rigged my boat. Everything's labeled, everything's zip tied. If I do have an issue, which doesn't happen very often, then I know exactly uh, where to go to troubleshoot that. But you're going to notice a lot of the same things on this boat that's been in my past boats. Uh, you know, from two units on the console. I am running a different mount on the front. That's going to be a three rather than over under and one on a ram. That's going to be a three uh, triple stack right there. Um, the turret, you know, 36 volt Garmin, all of that's the same. Just some minor minor changes but the, the biggest thing is the wiring wiring making sure everything's right everything's have ample power but the next step after this is we're going to go to the wrap shop you'll see this thing get wrapped my truck's going to get wrapped and uh i think we're going to change a few things on the wrap this year yeah so we usually take about two two full days at least on the truck uh, to get it prepped and uh, take all the emblems and stuff like that off and then after that's all done we'll start with the boat and then we'll get it all uh, prepped and uh, make sure all everything's in position to do that. It usually takes about a full day, sometimes a day and a half to do the boat because it's not near as much uh, material as the uh, the truck and all that stuff. So, but they'll both match and it'll look really good when, by the time we're done. All right, after a couple of days of rigging and a few days of getting the boat wrapped and the truck wrapped, you know, we're ready to go. Um, go to the lake, fish, get everything 
calibrated, you know, just all of that. So just more videos to follow and, you know, really, really pleased how everything's turned out from, you know, the wrap design to, you know, the rigging, the mounts, the battery location. I just ha it seems like I have a lot of room this year. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. I appreciate you following along.